Well, this is the first feature script I ever wrote, so it was a challenge because I didn't know what I was getting myself into in a way. Like, I've written shorts, but I've never written a feature film before. Um, and the writing process is really up and down because I took a year to write it, um, and I studied a lot of other scripts because, again, never have written in a feature format before. I, was, I made myself a student of a lot of other films and really broke down other scripts, particularly to see the structure, not to borrow ideas, but to see what happens in the third act, second act, and uh, yeah, first, second, and third act of a feature. How many, like, what are the incidents that happen? And I would do that like in Excel spreadsheets of other films that I liked that had sort of similar trajectories. Um, but it was so tough. Like I, uh, I wrote a lot too from my personal experience and looked at old journals from when I was like 15 years old and thought about the way that I spoke and how I saw life and like, cause it's so different. Um, when I wrote this film, I was like 28. So it was a lot of time had passed. So I needed to kind of go back and remember the way that I looked at the world. So it was like a combination of different things. And then, um, you were asking about the directing process too and the challenges. Um, there's lots of, as a director, as a filmmaker in general, you're just constantly encountering challenges. Um, I think the biggest challenge for us was just logistical things, kind of boring things, just because of the, the tight budget we had. We shot this for 250,000 Canadian, um, which is super tight in a very condensed timeline. So the challenges were mostly logistical, but because I spent so much time in prep with the actors, months and months, even with the secondary characters, doing rehearsals, a lot of improvised rehearsals where we were building a character history, we felt prepared when we went to set. So um, the challenges really came in, in, the, in the early prep times, but when we were on set, I feel like we, we were like really like, hit our groove. Um, I don't really, like, we just had the normal challenges of, of shooting in the day, like, oh, we're running out of time, the sun is going down. But the, I think we were so prepared that it, it was okay. I didn't plan on for it to be a specific town, but it is in Canada. I didn't want really, I thought about hiding the fact of that because I kind of wanted it to feel like it could be anywhere. But at the same time, like we're using Canadian money, there's Canadian accents, you know. So I embraced that to a, to a certain extent. But I didn't really want to exactly pinpoint where it was because I wanted any audience to kind of feel like it could be a small town where they are from or like that they've experienced. So I picked places where we shot it was in Ontario, in, su in southern Ontario. Um, places that were, I always like to describe as places that were left behind by globalization. Places that used to be, had a lot of industry that has moved away, but there's still people there and there's transient people who pass through. Um, but places that feel sort of harsh and, 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 and not comfortable, a place that you'd want to maybe escape from. Yeah. And your casting, like, uh, yeah, where did you find these amazing actors? The casting was quite a process because um, we were working with non-union actors and people who had not acted at all before. Even the leads hadn't done very, pretty much nothing before, maybe some music videos. And um, we, I cast the leads a year before we shot because I knew there would be a challenge with this material to get them to feel comfortable in the scenes and they needed to build a trust with me. So even though we didn't have a lot of time, we shot this in 18 days, with very low, low, low budget. Um, I made the time in prep. So we cast the leads. I put, we, I did the casting with my producers, we now have a casting director, and we um, put ads on Facebook, ads on Instagram, and that kind of worked, and we got a lot of response, but when it came down to auditioning people in person, we only saw about six girls for both roles. And I improvised with them. I'm not an actor, but we did an improv audition. Uh, the reason being, I wanted to see if these people would, these actors would take risks and make choices. And they and they were willing to, to jump in and, and do it. And uh, Michaela, who's the lead, who plays Lou, 
we kind of went to the same we went to the same film school, but we didn't know each other. And she wanted to be an actor, and I'd seen her in a music video doing a monologue, and I really was taken by her. And Karina was again just like sent in a tape, and her tape was the best tape. And then in person, she was just so good at improvising. And then she uh, now she's an amazing, huge director in her own right, directing Drake music videos. So <laughs> she's uh, she's multi talented and very hardworking. <laughs>